I'm Strawberry Ketchup, and here's some features I think should be added into Minecraft. Oh, I saw you. It's too late. Now there's only a million baby ones. Alright, the frogs will deal with them. Now, our first one. Wait, you guys can have this. Well, let's hope they don't weaponize it. So, we're gonna start off with this one. I think it's definitely the eyes of the game. Essentially, there's gonna be particles, which I've edited in right now. That tell you how much attack damage your attacks actually do. And this will also work on like, I'm gonna call these testing blocks. And these are the testing blocks, like melons and pumpkins and hay and stuff. And now, let's go into this very royal, alright, I can't, I can't put up with this, I'm sorry. I'm glad, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the sword on me, just in case any of these pesky things keep following me. I think we should be safe. Alright, the next one. In Minecraft, you have a splash water bottle, which can damage blazes, snowmen, endermen, and... Ow. And put out fires. So, what I'm saying is... Let's just run past this really quick. Ooh. It's like temporary water. But we should have, like, lava splash bottles. That's like fire. So you can just use lava and it can set things on fire, it can set mobs on fire. It'd be really good in combat. And you can also set campfires on fire with it. And let's follow with campfires now. In the game, you can literally hold a campfire that's on fire. I don't think that should happen. Instead to light it, you need to maybe put like another piece of coal or maybe a log on it i'm not sure so yeah that was that one done now let's move out of this forest and as you can see these are saplings wow but i think instead of saplings we should have actually like acorns and stuff and like nuts for the trees as well as seeds for the flowers and also I think flowers should have growing stages to make it a bit more, a bit more interesting when you're doing gardening. Because flowers, they're kind of plain to be honest. Let's put it down for the bees. And also, to be honest, I think first of all bees need to be smaller. There's no way they're nowhere near this big in real life. And second of all, there needs to be more bees, there's like hardly any bees inside a hive. I think it's three at a time. It should be at least like ten at a time. And the next one, speaking of honey, they should be, without adding grizzly bears, because we don't like them, in real life, foxes, I'm gonna let you out, they love honey. So I think we should add the fact that foxes like honey into the game. It makes foxes even more cuter than they are. As well as making them be able to eat bugs, because that's what they do in real life. So they should be able to eat the silverfish. But, nah, I'm gonna kill you before you cause any mischief. Same with frogs, because they don't really eat bugs just in the game, they just eat slimes. Oh, there we are. Don't want that thing getting on the loose. And also... Oh, are you ready? So basically, slimes can now rejoin... So you might have to kill them quick when you turn them into baby slimes because they can rejoin now. These foxes sure do like exploring. Oh, by the way, they're called chits and chats. Because why not? Alright, this next one, I think I really like this idea. First of all, instead of dirt near water, there should be, like in rivers and stuff, it should be mud. And also, there should be mud pits. Like giant areas full of, like, frogs and lily pads and pigs because pigs now like mud and also dirt becomes mud when rainy only dirt though not just grass on the ground and in the sun after a while it'll turn from mud into dirt and also i've had this idea for a while um the closer sand and dirt and stuff is to water i think the darker it should be like it's getting wetter and darker i think it just makes sense and it'd be very cool actually to see in the game and now let's enter a giant watermelon. So inside here we can see there's actually a stalk that goes into the side? 
of the watermelon. Basically everyone complains about this, and I noticed it as well, it's really annoying. So the stem's here, then the stem's there. Same with things like pumpkins. So I think the stem should grow over, like in real life. Because actually the stems aren't that small, they're, like, they're quite large. Especially on pumpkins, you can see. And also change the name to a watermelon, not a melon. Now I won't be able to show you this properly because I don't have to look such, but this is melon here. I thought they were called melon slices to be honest. And also, when you pick it up, it shouldn't be destroyed. You should have to, like, put the melon into the crafting table to get it turned into the slices that you can eat. So you know how overpowered bone meal is? Well now you have to craft it with 9 bones. But hold up, that seems a bit too much. Well, now mammals and mammals and birds do drop bones. Come here, chicken. No, I'm not gonna do it. Not not to Chucky. I can't do that. And not to not especially not to pig. No, not to pig. Uh this next one is this. Lots of people talk about this one as well. I've heard System Z talk about it at one point. These stone cutters do no damage when you stand on them. You're absolutely fine. You should do a bit of damage, like one damage every second at least. Let's just see these horses here. And these llamas. Oh no, oh, oh, oh just made them aggressive. There we are. Alright, now we're gonna go into the wilderness. So, I think that animals should actually forage for the food instead of just going around. Like cows should find wheat. Uh, sheep should just, well they already eat the grass, but you know what I mean. They should actually eat what they like to eat instead of the players having to feed them. As well as maybe villagers, farm villagers having to feed them. Also now, you don't just need water on the crops to grow them. You can just have rain falling on them like once every five days at least, so they'll be covered in plains biomes because they rain often. Or just like something dripping down. And also you can find wheat in the wild now in Plains Biome, maybe like 20% of them are full of wheat or something, I'm not sure. Maybe a lot more than 20%, maybe like some of the Plains Biome in 50% of them, I'm not sure. The next one is flags, which will look a lot better than this ugly thing that I've just built. Um, so basically, it's really simple, you, can, you don't even have to build it with a crafting table because of the size of the crafting recipe. It's two fences, any any um, like type of wood will do, and then a banner, and that will make a flag. It makes no sense, and it really annoys me. Get out of the way. Um, basically, copper oxidises even in lava and water, and even when it's covered by blocks, so that should be changed, as well as making lightning actually strike copper rods more often, because it never happens even though it's supposed to happen. Like, it's like no difference. I've only ever seen this thing being struck by lightning once. I think it should be a lot more common. Like 10 times more common than it is now. Oh, and this next one. It's more of an item added to the game than a feature. I'm still gonna say it anyway. So, when you walk on amethyst, it makes really nice sounds. You know that. Probably seems more like ASMR thing with it. And um, you should be able to like make some kind of musical instrument out of amethyst, that'd be a cool addition to the game or wind chimes like also system z has said before i'm pretty sure um and also what why do mushrooms not spread in real life if you ever had moldy bread which is very gross you've probably known that it spreads very fast and mushrooms don't spread in the game so they should spread using spores there's all the spore blossom like you can see all these spores flying around everywhere they got really far you know but like, it doesn't plant any other ones, so that should be another change. We're getting near to the end now. I bet, I bet you're glad we're near to the end. This next one, we are going to set this iron golem free. We should stop torturing them and making iron farms. Iron is a material you need to collect from mining, not just randomly able to get it. So villagers need to work. They need to work for the sweet iron. They need to go into the mines and get emeralds and iron and all sorts of other stuff by themselves, not magically make it appear. Thank you for listening to that one. Also, chains should be like a stronger version of leads because I, I think in the game, 
if a mob is going over like 10 blocks a second away from the lead, it will like break the lead maybe, but chains, it could be like way stronger, like 100 blocks per second, which is like very rare. So basically it makes it impossible. And then this next one, idea from also systems on YouTube, you can tell I watch a lot of him. You should be able to place books and bottles on the ground. Where's the bottle gone? Where'd the bottle go? Hello? Oh, it went into my inventory. Okay. You should be able to like put bottles and books down onto the ground. Okay, this next one we're actually gonna have to go out of this world. Nice pun, I know. So it's gonna be a bit dangerous, but let's go in. Got a golden chest plate. Now pickling camps. Because piglins kind of just appear out of nowhere, they don't seem to settle anywhere. So they should be able to like mine in these cool little mines and have cool little tents here. Hello, I'm friendly, I've got golden chest plate on. Yay! Um, and they should be able to like uh, be a trading place. Also, I should think that in the game, you kind of just like trap villagers and piglins to trade with them. I think they shouldn't trade with you if you trap them. Boom. Be free. Nature, I'm... I'm a guy for freedom in this video. Also, this next one, um, different trees should drop different colored dyes, like the mushroom tree thingies. Pink dye for this one, and gray dye for this one. Now you might be thinking, why pink and gray? Why not red and blue? Well, it's, they're like leaf thingies. They're like mushroom things. Like, I don't think you're really gonna get strong colors. So it's kind of like a weakened version of the color. Um, I may or may not have come up with a, this idea just because these things are like we got grey carpets and grey banners. Well, I tried to escape as fast as possible, that's for sure. And this one we're also gonna enter, well, exit out of this world, I should say. In three, two, one, and we are here. Uh, just please ignore this. Let's just save the sniffer whilst we're here. Um, I'll, I'll save them in a minute. <laughs> the snow biome, when you spawn in it, it feels endless and feel like you just can't escape it. So I think that needs to be switched. So snow biomes are a lot smaller because like almost impossible to escape these things. Now let's try and save this sniffer and not run away this time. We're gonna, we're gonna be a bit dangerous here. Oh yes, come on. Come on, sniffer. Oh, we need to make it bigger for the sniffer, don't we? Alright, it's fine. We're gonna get you out. I promise. These poor things, ancient things, stuck in the ice. I almost drowned multiple times whilst doing this, so lesson learnt. Leave saving sniffers and other ancient species to the experts. But in the end, I managed to save it. Yay! the funky transition back into the sleeper flat world. All right, now let's do this. This is the final thing I'm gonna celebrate with some cake. Now, I think, and probably a lot of other people think this as well, that cake, you should be able to pick it up if there's no slices taken out of it. Cause when you just try and pick this up and take it home, it just breaks, which is very annoying. So that needs to be fixed and now, we are back at the start. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna do a loop for the sake of living, because I don't think any of us are gonna live if I do a loop. <laughs>